uh, depression or yeah. sadness, yeah. and I think that that's appropriate. Yeah. To live in the world that we live in is appropriate to feel depressed yeah. and sad. I mean, the madness, and, it, and it's getting madder and madder. Yeah. So, and, it, and, and therefore it's getting, in my opinion, madder and madder to bring more people into this madness. Yeah. What chance have they got? What chance have children got? I've been on TikTok a few times. TikTok is like an open house for pedos. Yeah. It's like you, you flip up. I didn't even ask for this. I flip up and some teenage, I don't even know how old they are, comes and says that I'm doing a live from my bedroom. Yeah. How can you bring people into that? Yeah. Um, I think something that you mentioned earlier on, and it was along those lines about the cruelty and uh, just the negativity that is out there. Why would a sane person ever want to reproduce in a world like that? Um, there's actually there's actually a verse in the Quran. Allah Subhanahu Taala says that children are a trial for men. So your child becomes a trial for you, you know. And that sort of resonated with me when you said that because there are difficulties with this. There are difficulties attached with having children, and that's that's a reality. And I feel like sometimes people tend not to view that. Because life has become much more easier now in terms of like the technology and even like the support system that we have, you know. But maybe a hundred years ago, I think that verse could have been a bit more better understood, you know. During the Victorian times, I found out that their parents wouldn't even name the children. It would be child number one, two, because they would die, you know. So they wouldn't bother a sort of um, build emotional relationships with these children. So child number one, two, three, and then oh, child number six died because he was working in the factories. So I think there's some, it's valid in terms of that having children can be a trial in the sense where you have to be just all the time. You're trying to be just, you can't, impossible. You have to provide, the, they, that is a, a, um, a challenge at times, right? These things. Um, so I don't think you're totally wrong, you know? But like I was asking you before, like where's the balance though? Because at the same time, there's also joy in having children. You had three of those. I'm sure that you have, you had some yes, moments I have, of joy. I, have, you know, I, I do have a lot of joy, loads of joy, and I've got like, you know, loads of footage of it as well. And yeah. You know, and I probably should have been that more often. Yeah. I, but that, again, that's what you think about it. Mm. It's just now that it's I look at it, delusional? I feel it's delusional. Mm. It's delusional and, and narcissistic. Mm. I, you, I had a lot of joy out of some other mm. human being's life being yeah. put into jeopardy yeah. and being put into harm's way and being put into this precarious reality. Of, of human body and human mind and this system and everything yeah. like but, but don't you think it was maybe vice versa so that i mean if you view it from like an exploitative kind, kind of lens that your child also had joy what's he wear having joy so it's a symposium like this exchange don't you think that maybe happened as well so it's not just one side of them isn't it Yes, I yeah. agree with you, yeah. and I, you know, I, I just, I, I just, I really I can't, with it's you. It's just like the, the good can't outweigh the bad. No, it yeah. can't. And, 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 and as time goes on, the, the design. This is why I, you know, and the questions I have, I'm sorry to those people watching, is like, yeah. why? I, I was coming. I came from. I come from a tradition that when someone dies, they say how great God is. To me, yeah. I, I don't understand why everyone's so so praising of the creator of this. These bodies, they rot. I'm 53. You yeah. know, my teeth are starting to go bad. And yeah. It's like it's just the beginning of it. You know, and, and it's just so like. Have you ever looked into like Wabi Sabi, like this uh, Japanese uh, no. philosophy? They find attractiveness and beauty in decay. And for example, when it comes to like pottery, they would like sort of like fix broken pottery with like golden linen inside of it. So right. find very beauty and, and decaying and right. So it's very poetic <laughs> in their culture, you know? Um, Thanks. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want to, you know. <laughs>
Uh, you know, it's like, like you know, it's like I'm saying, it's like yeah. we don't and we don't think about those numbers. Yeah. Do, right? yeah. We don't think about what you know these children we're bringing in. We don't think past almost yeah. past just being little babies. Yeah. We don't think about what well, we, we put them in school. Yeah. I mean, which parent really, if you think about it, really wants to put a child in an environment like that? It's just not safe. Yeah. Right? Mm. It's not safe from teachers, idiot teachers, it's not safe from children. It's just not safe. Yeah. And you're putting your own child into the yeah. care of these people. But yeah? You? And they yeah. don't think about the child becoming a teenager themselves and, and becoming then this and that, and having to fend for themselves and then have, getting old. Yeah. We never we never think about that. But I'm saying to anyone watching, think about that. Think about that before. If you know, I I'm, I know that I can't stop people having children. Yeah. Yeah. But if if one person, and I hope more than that, will think a bit more carefully before they have a child, and make sure that they understand how much it costs yeah. to give a child a decent life there, right? And to realise what it costs in terms of your own self, your own time, your own energy. Right, and, and, and what it takes in cost of, of, of you know your relationship with your partner, um, the world, the animals, all that stuff. Think about that before you yeah. bring someone into existence. Yeah. yeah. But you see, so there's this verse in the Quran which I find very interesting as well, and it talks about this and it says, "All believers, do not kill your children for the fear that you come to feed them." Is that again? Do not. Do not, do not kill your children. For the, fear, for the fear of not feeding them. Because there was a time when people would do that, they would kill their the kids because they, they don't know whether they can feed them. And then Allah says, I provide for them. Now, that's something to, for me to think about as well. Um, I'm not going to comment on the, on the verse, but I, I should leave it out there. But then another thing I find very interesting is, for example, in Japan right now, right? Um, they had not as many children in the last 30 years or 40 years or 50 years and it's starting to show now that they're starting to have problems with the economy because by 2050 I think half of the population is going to die off and it's going to be very difficult to sort of carry on the economy with it. So but firstly, firstly yeah. these things are very complicated. Yeah. You'd have to re really be an expert about sure, what's sure. really going on there, number sure, one. Sure. Number two, yeah, don't forget yeah, that no child should be brought into existence. I think should just come back to the camera? So. No child should be... Um, this way? Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. No child should be brought into existence just to keep the Japanese economy going. Sure. Do you understand? Sure. But that's why people are brought in. And that's yeah. what happens to people. They, yeah. And we don't need that anymore now, yeah. which has got a real problem, yeah? Yeah. Which I'm not the only person to speak about, proper people to speak about that, about, you know, that, that we, we've got a bunch of useless people now. We don't need them anymore. Yeah. Everything's automated. Yeah. Don't need, to, don't need them anymore. We don't need... And, you know, in fact, what we've learned from this whole COVID situation, actually, which we won't learn, you know, I just noticed, is that actually half the stuff, 80% of the stuff we don't need. We don't need live music anymore. What for? Why do you need live music anymore? You really need that? No, you've got a lovely machine. You put your headphones on. You get better sound than you would if you were live. You don't need anymore. But you, you also understand that due to, like, the social distancing that... There's a lot of mental health that has. Oh, like, yes, I, I mean, yeah. Because they, people aren't yeah, meeting and, each other anymore. Yeah, of course, but that's, they don't care about you know. The thing is about all that stuff, right? It's, yeah. all load, it's either a load of bollocks created by the government yeah. or it really is like frightening. Yeah. Either way, it comes back once again to the primary thing is that now, more than ever, is a time to question reproduction. I think we all need to start questioning it. Yeah. We need to think about it differently. And I think that most people would agree of any type, yeah, that we need, that we should really ask questions, all of us, our communities. Yeah. We should get together with all of us yeah. and teach our children to ask Sorry, Jenny, I just think we're out of the camera. Sorry, sorry. sorry. So, yeah. we, should teach, yeah. we should teach our children to ask those questions as part of their education. How much does it cost? You know, all the things that it costs, it's a lot of money to give your children a job. You know, and what, 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 what's it, what toll is it going to take? And what does it mean with your partner? And, and where, where, you know, where are you, what are you going to do? And what happens if you don't, what happens if you're ill? Or what happens if you die? What happens if you die and you leave your child? With one, with the other parent. You know, these, 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 these need to be answered. And what, what's happening to the environment? And, 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 and you know, and what chance has that child got? Really, what chance? 
this. I, you know, I really, I mean, I do, I, um, I appreciate your sentiment and I also see where you're coming from and I think there's a lot of validity in it. Um, but I, I just feel like it's just half of the story. I'm sorry, because at the same time, um, I think sometimes it's, it's a work, first of all, first of all problem is, in fact, that uh, in other places in the world, having children is actually survival. The more children you have, the greater it is, create the lineage and the will that is in human being to survive. No, um, but you don't survive. No, that's an illusion. No, that's your DNA tricking you no, but it's not into illusion. thinking. In, it is. It's, it's, it's your DNA what, tricking you into thinking that you you that you. You, are, you survive by having children. But what about... The, having children isn't going to make any difference. You are going to be obliterated into nothing. I understand. You came from nothing, yeah. and you will go back to nothing, and it doesn't make any difference if you pump out 10 children or not. It's irrelevant. You will be obliterated. But that's... Uh, if you, if I mean, there isn't really a you anyway. That's just an illusion I, as well. Fair that's enough. just the story you made up about yourself. Yeah. Right? But that will be obliterated, and that will never but I mean, exist. If you, it will go into I mean, non I mean, uh, that's. But then, then it's not about reproduction anymore. Now, we, now there's something deeper. Now we're talking about. We're talking about. Um, we're talking about ontology. So the, the you know the, the understanding of being. We, we're talking about me, me, uh, metaphysics because now you're entering something where you say, well, when you die, this is going to happen. So yeah, well, I, I don't know if you can call it metaphysics. I would just call it. Um, it's beyond. It's beyond the the, the, the material. Yeah, well, I would say nothing. Nothing yeah. happens beyond the material. Yeah, and that's that's why it's so so absolutely perfectly marvelous because nothing is better than everything put together. Yeah, but I'm. It's, it's everlasting peace. I hear that, but you see, again, I think the point I was trying to make earlier on about. It's very difficult to tell that an Indian farmer who lives in a village that you know you shouldn't have any children because yeah, but you see the thing is that children. again, again, yeah, we can have a nice little talk about that yeah. you know, just for play and entertainment sake. But this is not about the Indian farmer. This message, this idea, yeah, you know, will only penetrate a very, very small percentage because although it actually makes a lot of sense, yeah. It's also, you have to take a huge leap out of your conditioning, yeah, which you've got in culture, and your, your makeup of your own DNA, which is the whole soul, the drive of your DNA is to get you to reproduce. It affects everything, right? Yeah. And so... <laughs> but that's the point I was trying to make. So, how can you trying to eradicate something that is so, if you like, you. Why would she, is, is, is it not that, that in itself? Is because it, it's a recognition, because it's a recognition and an understanding and an honest look at myself. Yeah. Saying that there's, there's just no good reason, there wasn't, I did do it three times. There's just no good reason for me to continue this. It was just a completely unconscious, you know, yeah, yeah, darling, yeah, let's get married, let's do this, is everyone else, you know, and that's just, it really is, it's a sad reflection of, yeah. of humanity, because I, I was an educated person, it's not like I, you know, and everyone around me was just like that, so I didn't know anything else. Because, you know, the same way you say that, I, and, and I've sort of acknowledged that the Quran talks about these matters like consciously thinking about uh, what of a huge responsibility children are for your own sake yeah. and their sake. Yeah. Uh, but then it also talks about, like I was saying, the Quran also talks about having, of finding joy in it to have children and to have a wife and to build and to cultivate and to destroy. It's, it's just like this, this flow of life. You know, and the will, the will is stronger than, you know, you call it DNA, I call it the will, like, I call it the Schopenhauer, we've talked about it before, but um, that's like this very penetrating will, this very aggressive thing in humans that forces us to do this because it's part of who we are. And don't you think that, I feel like you're doing the opposite, I think you're denying that thing by saying no. 
I feel like you're denying it. Denying what? You're denying an integral part of what makes you who you are. I, I don't know if I'm denying it. I'm just, I'm just, you I, just think I, about I think it. You're, I think you're denying it. You're denying the, the nastiness of it. It's absolutely nasty. Because your DNA is nasty. It's a nasty, a nasty, tripful little bastard that is a piece of code. Yeah. It's a nasty piece of viral coding that is abusing you yeah, to try and get itself replicated. That is its journey. Okay. And, it, and, and, it, and it has affected everything, including okay. your ideology. Yeah? Because all, all these ideologies, yeah. I was brought up with one, yeah? all of these ideologies, your DNA in general, if you can speak about it metaphorically, yeah? DNA, so to speak, loves religion. Because we just spread it wide. Well, we're not talking about religion now. Right? I mean, I'm inferring too. Uh, okay, so, but yeah. saying that, sorry. Right? Yeah. So, so that you know, that's just another crafty way that your DNA and my DNA have operated to pull one over my yeah. eyes and think, oh yes, you know, all this lovely talk about all this positivity. But um, look, you know, I can't answer the question. You know, you have this very famous challenge, hundred pounds, you said. Yeah. And I feel like maybe one day I will win. Okay. But I can't right now. <laughs> you, I can give you. You're more than welcome to go for it. I give you one reason. I will, if, if you, I, I'll yeah. genuinely yeah. tell you. Yeah. If anybody really does come up with a proper reason, yeah. it's reasonable, reason, yeah. and ethical, yeah. then I will I'll come up with the money. I, I have, I have one reason. Not the bigger question. I will have to think about it. Okay. But I have one reason why I believe that you having children made you a better person. I do, that, that's I, that's I think. I hope. Yeah. I hope that it did. I hope that it pushed yeah. me in the right direction. Although I'm not 100% sure if it did. Think about it. If you think about it, a celibate who doesn't have any forms of responsibility for taking care of anyone. It's going to struggle to feel or see certain perspectives that you may have had because you had children. Yes. Right. I don't, I don't deny that being a father um, has forced me to face some stuff. Yeah. Uh, some of the stuff I haven't really dealt with, but I still have. Um, yes, of course, but so does cancer do that to you. But that doesn't mean. Of course. Yeah. But don't you see the beauty in that struggle, that molding, you know, in, in, in Arabic, there's this word called fitna, right? Uh, and it comes from um, the root word of it is that uh, burning of the burning of gold. When you want to like sort of clean gold, what you do is you burn the gold to remove the dust. And out of that burning, out of that process, a bit like alchemy, you attain a level that you, you previously couldn't maybe, you know? And I, I guarantee you, I know for a fact, because you're bad, there are certain qualities about you that certain people don't have just because they don't have children. And I feel like even you listening to me right now, it's, it's a parent's quality because you have to listen to your children every now and then. Many people can't do that, you know? And it's actually quite rare to see you listening because usually you're up and screaming. So I, I do appreciate that you gave me the chance to have this like very beautiful conversation with you. Yeah. But yeah, I will think about the, the grander question about why, because I think it's a really good question and I, I haven't fully done it without doing it. I mean, I would bring religion into it, but then I, I believe there's also more other reasons, you know? Uh, by the way, here's the question also. Yeah. And I've asked this to a Christian woman. Uh, and that is, if you do believe that there is an answer, and you have some kind of belief that yeah. you're either going to a good place or a bad place for a long time, yeah. Yeah. why would you take the risk of bringing someone into existence? No, they, you could be responsible for someone going to hell. Um, so, Islamically speaking, responsibility um, has its um, expiry date. As in, you bring up your children. Oh, sorry, we, we're out of, out of frame again. So you bring up um, your children. 
and you're responsible for them for a given time. And based upon the uh, you know the inputs and the beliefs that you sort of like practice, if you like, your child is going to have some of these values. But at one point, it's going to become autonomous. And that's what I want to ask you actually. Like, what about autonomy in all of this? Okay. Let's take, let, let, let's take Islamic teachings out of it for the moment. Sure. Yes, maybe technically with Islamic teachings, like Jewish teaching, yeah. you know, there's some group of men. Yeah. 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 Usually. Usually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I wonder why. Um, some group of men have decided that, you know, your responsibility is until X and X. Yeah. Let's leave that out for a minute. Sure. If you bring someone to existence, as far as I'm concerned, I bring someone to existence, yeah? I am going to be interested and concerned yeah. about them forever until I die. Yeah? And therefore, to a great degree, they are my responsibility all the time, whatever that means. Yeah. Yeah, all the way through. Yes, to an extent. Yes, I agree. I agree. Imam Ali says, Imam Ali, this is the, nep um, the, cousin, um, the cousin of the Prophet Muhammad. So, so he says, for example, um, you play seven years with your child, seven years you teach him, and the seven years you're friends. So by the age of 21, hopefully, he has enough autonomy so that he can go out in the world and live. Um, but yeah, what's autonomy? Yes, but, but, you know, it, it's, it's not about really autonomy. 